Hello everyone and welcome to the logo design course. This is the logo that we will be designing in this video. So we start by creating a new page. The settings are not important because we are not designing a flyer or anything else. We are just designing a logo. So go ahead and select any settings you want. So after we select the settings, we click create. This is the colors that we will be using to design this logo. So I will drag them and put them right here. These are just colors. You can put them wherever you want, over here or anywhere you want. For me, I will keep them right here. I zoom in a little bit. I go here to the ellipse tool and I hold the shift button to draw a symmetrical circle. Now I remove the fin, I swap it with the stroke, then I select this color right here. As you see, I selected the black color. Now I select the pen tool and I put the first dot right here. Then the second one right here, but I don't release the mouse. I click and drag to make a curly or a wavy line like this. Then I go back to the last dot. Then I click here again to make the other dot. And again, I click and drag without releasing to get this shape right here. Then I click enter to apply the change. Perfect. Now this is our logo so far. I'm going to copy this line, I hold the ALT button, then I drag it like that to duplicate it. Then I need to adjust it like this a little bit. Perfect. I drag this one down a little bit like this to make the line look thicker. Perfect. Now I select the shape like this. Sorry, I'm going to pull this one down a little bit. And then I select the whole shape like this. And I will remove the unwanted shapes or parts. Now I go to the Shape Builder tool. I hold the Alt button. And I delete these shapes right here. The extra shapes on the outside like this. I hold the Alt button. And I click to delete the things that I don't want in this shape. Again in here. I use the Shape Builder tool. Hold the Alt button and I click on these dots like this to remove them. Perfect. Our logo is on its way. Now I'm going to need to adjust the edges. So I use the direct selection tool or maybe the curvature tool. Here it is. I select the curvature tool. I put a dot in here. Then I drag it like this. Perfect. Now I put another dot in here. Then I adjust the shape like this. And I keep going until I get the result that I want. Perfect. Now I select the shape. Then I use the Shape Builder tool and I hold the Alt button to delete the leftovers like this. Now I zoom in. I select the shape and I use the Curvature tool to adjust it like this. I put another dot in here and I adjust the shape as I want like this. Perfect. Now I select the shape and I use the Shape Builder tool, I hold the Alt button, sorry. And I delete this point right here. Now I zoom out. This is our logo so far. Now I use the Pen tool. And I put a dot in here. Then another one right here. And as I said before, I click and drag to make this curvy shape like this. 
Now I select the shape to make sure it's right. I zoom in to take a good look. And I adjust it like this. Great, now I select the whole shape and I use the Shape Builder tool. I zoom in. I hold the Alt button and I delete, sorry, I delete the leftovers like this. Perfect. Now I select the pen tool again and I put a dot in here. Sorry, I go back and I place the dot maybe here instead. Perfect. Then another one in here and as I said, click and drag to get this curvy line like this. Perfect. Then we click enter from the keyboard. We zoom out, sorry, we zoom in. Then we select the curvature tool to adjust the shape like this. Then we click enter to apply the changes. Perfect. This is our logo so far. Now I select the whole shape like this. Then I use the shape builder tool to make sure that every shape on its own is perfect. I do that to make sure that the lines are connected together. When you select the whole shape like this and you select the shape builder tool, you check every shape on its own to make sure that the lines are connected perfectly. Because if you selected the whole shape, you won't notice if anything is wrong. Now we go to the upper part or the upper side of the logo. We use the pen tool. We place a dot in here. Then another one in here. And as I said before, we click and drag to make a curvy line like this. Then we click enter from the keyboard. Now we place another dot in here. Then I place the next dot in here. I click and drag to make a curvy line. And one more time, we place the dot right here. Put another one in here. Click and drag to make a curvy line like this. And of course, we click enter from the keyboard. Now we select the shape like this and we select the shape builder tool to check each part on its own to make sure that there is nothing wrong. And as you see, we have here something wrong and we notice it, we noticed it because of the shape builder tool. Now we zoom in to make sure that we select this part like this. We select the shape builder tool. We hold the Alt button and we delete the leftovers like this. Perfect. We zoom out. And this is our logo so far. Our logo is almost ready. Again, we double check everything to make sure that nothing is wrong. And as you see, our shape is perfect. This video, we will paint our design. So now we select the shape change its color to black like this or into any color, it doesn't matter. In case there was any trouble, just make sure to select the shape like this, then select the shape builder tool, then reverse the color like this and paint the shapes parts like this manually in case of anything went wrong. Now we have these colors right here. We select this color like this. We use the eyedropper tool, we select it, then we select this color like this. This is how we change the logo colors part by part. Again, we select the shape part, we select the eyedropper tool, and we select the color. And we keep going like this. We select the shape, we select the eyedropper tool, and we select the color. And always make sure to select the part of the shape you want to select, you want to paint, then select the eyedropper, then select the color that you want to paint that part with. I'm gonna need to adjust this color, so I select this tool, and I will adjust this color like this, just a little bit. Now we select the second part, and we select this color like this. Then the last part, and we make it like this. 
Then we select the whole shape like this. Then we remove the stroke like this. As you see, the shape is stroke free. Now we select the lower part like this. Then we click Ctrl C then Ctrl V to duplicate it like this. We drag it and we put it right here. We will need it later. Now we go and select this part right here. And we will adjust its color a little bit. So I use the eyedropper tool and I select this color like this. Sorry, I click here. Then I use this tool to adjust the color like this. I can tilt the color like this, as you see, to change the angle of the gradient of the color. Perfect. Now I select the middle part. I select the eyedropper tool and I select this color. Then I go for the other part. The selection tool. Okay, instead of using the selection tool every time, just make sure to click on Ctrl plus V to duplicate the color. Now we select the gradient tool and we adjust the color like this. Perfect. Now we go back to the shape we duplicated earlier. We select it and we drag it and we put it right here. Then we lower it like this a little bit to get this design look like this. Now we zoom in to add some small stuff. We select the pen tool. We put the dot right here, then a second one like here, then we make a curvy line like this. We adjust the gradient angle like this. Perfect. Now we make it a stroke or a line. We make it two points like this. Then we put it right here. We use the ellipse tool, we draw a circle in here, make sure it's symmetrical by holding the shift button. Then we make it a fill and we remove the stroke like this. We swap the stroke with the fill to make it like this. Perfect. Now I select the whole shape, I duplicate it like this by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V from the keyboard and I put it right here. Perfect. Now I select the shape like this. Then I use the eyedropper tool and I copy this color. Then I make it a stroke like this. Same thing for the circle. I use the eyedropper tool to copy the color like this. And this is our logo so far. Now I drag the shape right here. And now we're going to start typing our text in the logo. The text that I'm going to type is only an example. You can put whatever you want. If you're designing a logo to a person or a company or anything, of course, you're going to type the text they want you to type. Now we adjust the size of the text like this, 48 points. And for example, we type butter, butterfly like this. This is just an example, as I said. We change the font of the text. This is back to black. This is the name of the font I'm using. And I adjust the size of the text like this. I adjust the size while holding the shift button. And here we are, our logo 
is ready and it looks perfect. You can adjust the colors if you want. You don't have to stick with the same colors I'm using. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video to work on another logo design.